This one's about my hometown, unfortunately. Well, the town close to my hometown, but it's where I went to high school. Um, it is a town of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For those who don't know, I went to the Fort Lauderdale High School, home of the Flying Elves. Very proud of it. Um, but the city council in Fort Lauderdale, I'm not proud of for this new law. Yes, this, they're on the cups of passing a new regulation that would make it illegal for anyone to store their personal things on public property, i.e. it's an anti-homeless bill. And basically what the bill says, if you store your bag or if you have a shopping cart or you have, you know, a big duffel bag with all your stuff and you're on the street, the police can confiscate said bag and then they can charge you a, re a reasonable storage fee for said bag. Basically, they're banning homeless people from storing their stuff on the street. Now, herein lies the problem. Problem numero uno on this one is you're banning homeless people. And unless you're going to provide them all homes, a novel concept, saying, hey, listen, we're going to ban homelessness. We're going to give you guys all homes and all social workers to help you get back on your feet. Then I'll be all for it. But you're banning homeless people. Problem numero dos these folks are homeless. They don't have any money. They don't have enough money to afford a place to live. So when the police charge them and they can't pay the fines, then they sort of become part of our justice justice system because when you don't pay a police fine, i.e. a ticket in the state of Florida, you get, you get fined. And if you don't pay your fine, there's a warrant out for your arrest. And then you become part of our justice system and we create a revolving door horrible idea. Now this idea is pushed by, you guessed it, big businesses. Those who collect big bonuses and most likely and possibly big banks. Um, business leaders are saying that they need to control the situation simply because homeless people are scaring away patrons from their places of business. Now I'm from Fort Lauderdale. I, have, I was back, I was in Fort Lauderdale, what, two months ago? Three months ago, I was back. I was back in Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to be in Fort Lauderdale next month, um, actually. And if I was trying to go to my favorite local restaurant, if I was trying to go on to something on US 1, which is sort of the strip right before you get to the beach, a homeless person wouldn't stop me from going there. I just walk around them. But maybe, maybe your patrons are a little bit different. But for you to put this law throughout the whole state, the whole city of Fort Lauderdale, it is sort of shocking.